this, this is this is the notion that we need uh, the, the someone to come along and update the law from from his own intellectual resources rather than from the actual experience of millions of people in generation after generation. Uh, no one believes the law should remain uh, fixed as it was at some given point in the past. The question is who shall have the authority to change that law and with what constraints on that person so that that person is not just giving vent to his own feelings or imaginings or theories. The Leninist system was one of the greatest blows that socialism suffered in the uh, 20th century. I think that, uh, I guess the short answer is they imagine that good people like themselves can make this thing go. And if it hasn't worked in the past, it's only because they haven't had the right people doing it. In other words, communism would have worked if it hadn't been for Stalin. You know. So I asked Chomsky, given the current crisis in Venezuela, should you now say to the students who've learned from you, socialism wrecks people's lives? Chomsky wrote me back, I never described Chavez's state capitalist government as socialist. Private capitalism remained. Capitalists were free to undermine the economy in all sorts of ways, like massive export of capital. Now, as far as socialism is concerned, that term has been so uh, evacuated of content over the last century that it's hard even to use. I mean, the Soviet Union, for example, was called a socialist society. And it was called that by the two major propaganda uh, uh, operations in the world, uh, the US, the Western one, and the Soviet one. They both called it socialism for opposite reasons. Uh, the West called it socialism in order to defame socialism by associating it with this uh, miserable tyranny. The Soviet Union called it socialism in order to gain whatever, to, to benefit from the moral appeal that true socialism had among uh, large parts of the general world population. But this was about as remote from socialism as you can imagine. I mean, the core notion of at least traditional socialism is that uh, what you mentioned, that working people have to be in control of production and communities have to be in control of their own lives and so on. Uh, it's, uh, and, you know, this is, this goes, uh, uh, the Soviet Union is the exact opposite of that. Uh, working people had no control over anything. They were uh, virtual slaves. Uh, and the collapse of the Soviet Union is, in fact, a small victory for socialism, in my opinion. It eliminated one of the major barriers to it and should have been recognized as such. But the term has been, uh, as I said, so become so meaningless that it's hard even to use. If we use it in the traditional sense, which you brought up, uh, that goes, that, you know, that goes straight back in American history. You read the working class press in... Uh, the mid 19th century, you know, press uh, published by uh, um, artisans and what were called factory girls, young women from the farms working in the textile mills in uh, eastern Massachusetts, which was the center of the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. Uh, their press was calling for, uh, um, they said the, their theme was that those who, uh, uh, those who work in the mills ought to own them. I think that, uh, I guess the short answer is they imagine that good people like themselves can make this thing go. And if it hasn't worked in the past, it's only because they haven't had the right people doing it. In other words, communism would have worked if it hadn't been for Stalin. You know. Le damos esta bienvenida a Chomsky y le abrimos las puertas de Venezuela siéntete en casa insigne hombre de este mundo I would like to 
like to thank uh, President Chavez for the kind and generous words. Quisiera agradecerle al presidente Chávez sus amables y generosas palabras de bienvenida. Hablar de la paz y criticar a aquellos que están en contra de la paz de alguna manera es fácil. Lo difícil es crear un nuevo mundo, un mundo diferente. Fácil es hablar de eso. And what's so exciting about uh, at last visiting Venezuela, I can see how a better world is being created and can speak to the person who's inspired it. Lo emocionante en este caso es ver en Venezuela cómo se está construyendo ese otro mundo posible y ver a uno de los hombres que ha inspirado esa situación. So thank you very much. <laughs> Muchas gracias. That all, all, that all the uh, incentives uh, are for people uh, who are intellectuals in the sense in which I would define the term, uh, to venture beyond what they are competent to do. That is, uh, we know that, uh, that uh, um, who is, who's the man at MIT who's the linguist? Now I'm Chomsky. Oh, Noam no, Chomsky. No, we Chomsky. know the man is a, is a landmark figure in the study of linguistics. Yes. But we would never have heard of him if he stuck to linguistics. True enough. Primer lugar. First of all, I would like to invite you, very respectfully, to those who have not read this book, to read it. Noam Chomsky, one of the most prestigious American and world intellectuals. Noam Chomsky, and this is one of his most recent books. Hegemony or survival? Hegemony or survival? The imperialist strategy of the United States. It's an excellent book to help us understand what has been happening in the world throughout the 20th century. So is Chomsky now ashamed of his praise? No, he wrote me. He said at the time he praised Chavez, Venezuela had seen a remarkable reduction in poverty. He cited this Harvard Magazine article. But this was written by a leftist who helped write Oliver Stone's movie. So I asked Chomsky, given the current crisis in Venezuela, should you now say to the students who've learned from you, socialism wrecks people's lives? Chomsky wrote me back, I never described Chavez's state capitalist government as socialist. Private capitalism remained. Capitalists were free to undermine the economy in all sorts of ways, like massive export of capital. What? Capitalists exported capital and undermined the economy by abandoning their homes and fleeing across the border to Colombia? Socialism is a great idea. That does not mean it's a great reality. One of the things that disturbs me tremendously is about this enthusiasm for Bernie Sanders and socialism at a time when people are literally starving in Venezuela, an oil-rich country, you know, and, and they're, they're, you know, they're breaking into, into grocery stores to try to get food, and they're fleeing to the neighboring countries, most of which are not all that prosperous themselves, but, but at least you don't starve to death in them. Uh, and, and none of that makes a bit, a bit of difference. Mm -hmm. I don't think most of these people who are out there cheering for Bernie Sanders have given a thought to Venezuela. Well, they, they imagine that they can define the public interest by themselves. Whereas in a market, uh, each individual defines his own interests himself and acts accordingly in interacting with other people and accommodating other people and competing with other people.